Hello, my name is Jay, and today I want to talk about the Ryzen 2700X leaks that we've gotten in the past week or so. And these basically show the Ryzen 2700X on an X370 um, platform performing at around overclocking only up to 4.2 gigahertz, which was not even what was advertised by AMD on the slideshows. So a lot of people are really getting concerned. They're like, uh-oh, AMD is not delivering all these, you know, long, you know, exaggerated statements. And I really want to point out a couple things in today's video explaining, you know, necessarily that this is not the final result. Um, there's a lot of other factors that still need to be added. And, you know, people panicking over a, you know, something that's a couple gigahertz off. Like, let's be honest, it's supposed to turbo up to 4.3, I believe. And... Overclocking hopefully will be another story, but still, I mean, the past generation 1700X uh, turboed up to, I believe, you were able to get it up overclocked up to 4.0. And now we look at this, you know, this model, and it's only a couple gigahertz faster. And I think a lot of people are also comparing it to the Ryzen 8000 or 1800X, was just, or you know, 1800X, I, I, my number's a little off today, but they're comparing it to that high end chip. And we're not even sure AMD will, you know, produce this one. And I actually made a video explaining why I personally don't think it won't and all the factors that kind of went into that. But, you know, people are complaining. And I also want to point out just a couple things. Number one, this is on the X370 chipset. This is not the X470 chipset that's supposed to come out with these new motherboards and these are these new chips. And these motherboards are supposed to have higher power efficiency, better overclocking, all these things. So we're using, you know, you know, newest generation on old gen stuff when, you know, we know that the memory controllers were issues last gen and, you know, the motherboard had a you know, major key part in having problems, the chipset itself. So, you know, you're looking at some overclocking and you're judging a chip based off of something that was really restricting in the first place and that's why Ryzen struggled a good bit um, when it first released and all the BIOS updates. And that also brings us to our next point, BIOS updates. You know, you're looking at something that will most likely somebody will upgrade. Like I have a nice motherboard already in here and I personally wouldn't upgrade for our 2700X simply because no point, I have a CPU, I have a cooler, and I just do workstation tasks. But if you're into gaming, that's kind of the main thing. So the motherboards, of course, are very expensive, and people don't like to, you know, upgrade if, if you know, you've put a lot of money in your motherboard. So these BIOS updates will, of course, support these motherboards and support these, you know, stuff on these newer generation cards. But it also, I will be willing to bet, will also increase in performance when, you know, board makers and stuff have really good access to these chips, can, you know, sit down and tweak the overclocking, things like that specifically uh, specified for these new chips. And I feel like, you know, judging it off of, hey, we've got a leak, all no AMD is crap, is not what I, I think was trying to be made here. I think that we are starting at a base platform like I mean the performance we got when Ryzen first came out was not the best and we saw a lot of improvement with stability from Ryzen um, at least the first gen we saw all, basically a huge amount of performance increase things like that especially with the RAM got better BIOS updates etc so you know I can only imagine with Ryzen 2 when this is supposed to be more of an overclocking gaming kind of deal that we could definitely see a lot of performance increases across the board and not just seeing you know, a slight couple gigahertz. I think we could, of course, see with the RAM speeds and the way that Infinity Fabric works, we could actually get a lot more performance out of these chips. And I think that, you know, going to the conclusion that AMD is, you know, misled consumers is not the point that we should be making. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I've actually been away from videos a bit. School's been a little hectic and stuff, but I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Of course, thank you for watching. Let's get back into the daily routine of videos, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.